Our society is filled with things that absolutely corrupt the youth to their core, like subscriptions to this channel, which you should make sure you have just to get a little bit more corrupted. But seriously, people on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube are doing some of the wildest things to garner a new culture, attention, and of course, create a concept that things are important when they really aren't that important. One of those things that's just mind blowing to me is morning routines. And this culture is truly out of hand on especially TikTok. TikTok. And I encourage you, if you are interested, don't even watch this video, just go to TikTok and type in morning routines with the comical mindset and just watch the people, <laughs> the tomfoolery. You think you can just wake up? Wrong. How beta of you to assume you could just wake up and do things. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> you have to do 18 million and 500,000 tasks before you can even get started with your work for the day because mental health, skincare, and something else. Look at this, what a life. You have time to do 8,001 skincare routines in the morning. No shot, her making her bed, spraying air freshener everywhere after using, I think like eight products for skincare, making a coffee and breakfast, her 500K home, watching TV only took her an hour. Like what the fuck am I doing with my morning? <laughs> I guess like I just kind of wake up like literally before this video. I don't even know if you can tell. I woke up, I wrote a couple things down about what I was going to talk about today, responded to some clients and then came here on YouTube. That was my morning routine. Literally, that was it. In a weird dystopian way, shit like this reminds me of that meme with Jocko Willing. Wake up at 1 a.m. in the freezer. Gargle piss. Uncomfortable? Good. Listen to five self-improvement podcasts at once as you drag a tire to work fire ants in a diaper to keep you going ex-wife calls says you can't visit the kids this weekend good they only slow you down get to work gargle more pee do work on chinese keyboard don't know chinese you will broken glass for lunch boss comes in says you're falling behind he doesn't understand he can't he isn't a wolf in this world of sheep Get hit by three cars on the way home while listening to audiobooks at two times speed. New record. Legs broken. Good. Pass out on kitchen floor. Roaches kissing you all over. They understand the grind. Set alarm for 1 a.m. and drift into a coma while listening to ASMR. What is it with girls having two eggs in the morning only? That is obviously not alpha fem enough. You need at least 30 grams of protein to get mTOR activated for muscle protein synthesis. For real though, I feel like these are just product shoots. Like, look at my supplement here, look at this supplement here, look at these products I use for my skincare, look at my car. Look at my bag, look at my makeup or whatever it is. And also, by the way, I have codes for all these things in my description. This how you start in the morning? That felt great. What's up, boo? I ain't never cuffing. No, no. And I know a girl in Michigan, nigga never seen. A lot of product on the sink. Everybody's maybe.
Why does everyone spray their bed? Mm, big dog. Siri, play R and B. Don't worry, you got a plan. Uh, exercise? No. Diabetes in a cup. Yes. Mm. <sighs> I felt great. This man has more time to do things for his morning routine than there is a time in the morning. No shot this is all done before 12 p.m. Also, instead of hitting the sauna and, uh, you know, doing backwards walking on a treadmill, like save some time and just go do some cardio in the morning. First thing, like real cardio. Stop drinking the diabetes cups of coffee that you have and, uh, you know, actually do some training that's efficacious. And you might actually be surprised at how shredded you could get. It might not be your objective or goal, which is fine. Everyone has different priorities, but I would argue that you could move things around here and, and improve your day. Now, I do have to give credit where credit is due. This breakfast is pretty baller status. He's got eggs, he's got a huge slab of meat and some fruit. I think that's pretty damn good for most people. It's certainly not two eggs and just some bagels, which is what most of the females on here seem to be having. However, the skincare thing is just wild to me. In 2019, the counterfeit market for products or products being sold with the things that they're claiming to have in them not having been in them is approximately 2.5% of global trade. That totals $464 billion per year of products that are counterfeit or mislabeled. And the cosmetic industry is a good portion of this. With counterfeit cosmetics and perfumes, which again, say they include one thing, specifically skincare products in this category, but yet they don't include anything or they include a completely different thing, made up about 10% of all customs seizures in 2019. In comparison, the supplement industry, which is almost completely unregulated, only made up about 3% of the total seizures with counterfeit products. Yet these peeps show you the most expensive products, some of which are costing well over $100, like serums and potions, which blows my mind and it does work. People think you need this stuff to have good skin. Yet the research on them or the products that they're using in specific is quite mute with the studies being funded by the companies themselves or the groups of people being researched or the inclusionary criteria of these studies being quite generous saying that only four people were studied which is a uh, crazy like as a population size it's kind of insane and then the methodology to the study itself is really really poor it's been known now for decades that if you want to reverse photo aging or prevent it the best methods to do so are simply by applying sunscreen and then applying moisturizer. And then the next best bet to improve photo aging that has already happened to your skin is things like high food treatment, uh, laser therapies, but even those are on the verge of being ineffective for a lot of people. Now th there is things like collagen peptides that you can supplement with, but in the reality of all of this, if you can't get those collagen uh, proteins with your diet, then yeah, you need the supplement. But beyond that, it's basically all able to be achieved within a dietary intake. Everything else is basically just really unfounded. something here like what the hell is everyone spraying their bed with oh <laughs> it's just i had to like pause this thing so many times it's 40 dollar room spray it's just spray it's just air freshener it's like glad air freshener or something. I actually, I think I just read a study on this where it causes circulatory dysfunction as well as respiratory dysfunction. Yeah, here it is. Nothing like spraying carcinogens all over the place that you sit about eight or more hours a day. I call that alpha fem maxing.
In the time it took him to do all of this, I could have been working for four hours actually making money. Millionaires spend more time on themselves than they do on the businesses that are supposedly making them millions of dollars. Kind of like how Wes Watson posts, I think like 18 to 20 videos on average per day. And yet each of those videos talk about nothing productive and only dismerch other people in the industry or people who he doesn't like or sees in a grocery store gym. And, and yet he's making millions and millions of dollars. I think it was like $70,000 a month or something like that maybe, maybe day i don't know something weird and yet he's posting this much I, I don't know about you but i've never really seen elon musk post stories constantly about doing things in his day uh, have you i haven't You're really working those long and hard hours it's crazy that we're getting constant feeds from you you might as well just do a live stream at that point bro like live stream your entire day for us please this millionaire routine is only done by millionaires because they're the only ones who have time to actually do it eight step morning routine used by millionaires around the world give it a try this week one make the bed it'll be your first win of the day two meditate for 10 minutes clear the mind of whatever thoughts come to it three journal for one full page this will help you reflect learn and understand yourself better Four, read for 20 minutes. Pick books on subjects that you are looking to learn or master. Five, work out for 45 minutes. It doesn't matter what it is, just get in the sweat. Six, personal hygiene routine. Not only is it good for your health, but also for your confidence. Seven, feel yourself in the morning. Eat till you're 80% full. Anything else will hurt your productivity. Eight, create a to-do list. Write down important things you need to get done that day. I'd like to add a number nine here. Make absolutely no money because I literally got fired from taking so long to get ready in the morning. Now, what's wrong with evening routines? Why does everything have to be done in the morning? Like, like why mornings? I personally get a lot of things done in the evening. Like I said, I like to just kind of wake up, get to work, then go do cardio a little bit later after I've talked to people, done my some of the client replies, emails, scripting, stuff like that. And then even later in the day, I'll start doing the things I want to do, like read or whatever else I can fit in. It's actually like a pretty good time to get those things done instead of, you know, backlogging all the work you have to do until you've expended a lot of your energy for three or four hours doing some morning routine and workout. Oh, never mind. They got those two. I need <laughs> Pirate! No, no, my God. I cannot believe this. Like, seriously, I cannot. I cannot. Like, at this point, you know what? You can have this lollipop, whatever. Come on, lay up. Yes, please don't play by the trash. That's dirty. You don't need to scream and yell at your game like that. You can use indoor voices. Interesting that a mother has time to set up her camera on a tripod, making sure that it's in frame and clicking record before, I don't know, taking care of her children that are breaking things, throwing things around and spilling stuff. I wonder how much of that is actually scripted. Hmm. Come on, Dre. No, excuse me. No, that's not mine. Who did that? I am so done. I seriously am done. I can't believe that either. Leveraging your kids for virality. That's quite interesting. I mean, again, you set up the tripod to record your kids throwing things around instead of stopping them from throwing things around, which is destructive, but also highly likely to cause injury to those kids. I, I don't know. Let's talk about my favorite makeup products of 2023. To start out, this is my favorite makeup bag right now by Jerf Avenue. I love the print. It's so cute and I love the material and it's easy to wash. Okay, this is my absolute favorite lip gloss consume more products don't ask questions meme insert here don't ask questions just consume product and then get excited for next product yeah i don't know it just seems to me that this is like a perpetuating theme on instagram tiktok and youtube where we see millionaire morning routines we see the healthiest morning routine we see the best thing you should do for the morning and to be honest with you this is just my own opinion i think that the best thing you can do in your morning routine is just get straight to work on the things that you really need to get done i find at least me that that by the time you're done with your real work, doing your side projects, which are most of the time the most revenue or asset building projects, you're too tired to do them. So just get them done in the morning, wake up, pound a coffee, hey, get your stuff done and then go about your day and then fit the things in that you have to do in the morning throughout the day, sprinkle them in, do your workout later in the evening. I like to do my workouts in the morning, but I wake up early enough to get a large portion of my work done, like three or four hours before even going to the gym and then coming back and doing more work and then having that evening window to kind of have my own time instead of spending like three or four hours in the morning doing shit that is just unrelated to the overall goal of life i think it's really important to consider using that very valuable time like again 
I don't know, this is just me, but I wake up very fresh in the morning. I wake up very cognitively functionable. And I feel like that time being wasted on cold exposure, steam saunas, an hour long skincare routine, uh, walking for an hour long in the morning, doing all of these different things, which might be healthy at the end of the day, but in a long-term perspective, how much hours of time are you wasting when you could simply just be reallocating the time differently throughout your day and also be scaling the amount of income and potential that you have in your life. And again, a lot of these routines aren't necessarily founded in science. They're just founded in commercial economics. They're founded because people are getting sponsored by products and they want to show these products off with a perfectly set up bathroom and a perfectly clean house and a perfectly made bed. And then they want you to buy those products with the discount codes and their links. When in reality, probably six days out of the week, their morning routine looks a hell of a lot different than what they show you. If they even use those products at all, because what's also interesting to me is whenever someone picks up the makeup or the, the spray or whatever it is, it's like full, <laughs> like every time it's full, like they just got it brand new and they've only used it once or something. It, it, we live in a interesting world nonetheless. And I think morning routines are over overrated and you could probably just do what you need to do in your day as your day goes on get your productive stuff done in the morning leverage your leisurely time for the evenings and call it good